you have emphasized many times, including today, that uh, the Fed can only lend and not spend, and sometimes the latter is what's really needed. But to the extent that a $600 billion lending program for small and mid-sized companies could help, what exactly is wrong with the design or function of the Main Street lending program, which has purchased just, I think, $1.4 billion in loans so far? Eric Rosengren at the Boston Fed said recently that Congress should clarify how much risk it wants the program to take. But Congress has already appropriated substantial funds for the 13-3 programs, and these are funds that are explicitly designed to absorb losses. Meanwhile, my colleagues who cover the banking sector say they're being told by commercial banks that the Treasury Department is advising them to target zero losses, zero losses in Main Street program loans. So, if I may, why is it that the Federal Reserve, the Congress, and the Treasury apparently cannot agree on a loss tolerance that should be applied to the Main Street lending program in a way that would allow badly needed credit to reach these companies. Thank you. Sure. So, so a couple of things about Main Street. It, it reaches the whole nation. <clears throat> it's got more than half of the banking industry assets signed up uh, among the banks that are part of it. And it's making loans. The number is more like it's close to $2 billion now. So the numbers are going up. Uh, banks are, are joining. Uh, borrowers are, are coming. <clears throat> um, and it's significant. It's it's relatively small now, but it can scale up in response to economic conditions. Should that be should that be appropriate? Um, you know, if you look out in the lending world, um, uh, surveys generally find that that firms are not citing credit constraints as a top problem, and that that is a lot of PPP, bank credit lines, and syndicated loans. There's a lot of credit being uh, let out there. Um, um, so. But you're right. Uh, we we are looking at some things. Uh, we're looking at uh, some lenders are concerned about the underwriting expectations. So banks are going to their their approach is likely to be that they're going to underwrite this loan roughly the same as they underwrite underwrite any loan. They're keeping part of it, and um, you know what what we want to do is um, make sure that uh, that they know that they should take uh, the payment deferrals and other things in in place, and also that. You know, it's it's really a it's really a, um, a facility for uh, for companies or borrowers that that don't have access to to regular way borrowing now. Otherwise, why would we need Main Street? Um, so that's what we're working on, and uh, we'll be doing some some uh, some we'll be making some changes in that respect. I I, do, I saw what President Rosengren said. I I can't really comment directly on that. I just would say. Um, that you know, this is 13.3. If you look at the law under Section 13.3, it, it's very clear that we are to make loans only to solvent borrowers, and, and the CARES Act is quite specific in keeping all of the terms of of Section 13.3 in effect, including the requirement that we, you know, gather good evidence that the borrower is solvent. This was this law was amended in you know under um, uh, in Dodd Frank. And it, the idea was was to make it challenging and put hurdles in place before we made loans. What at the time the thinking was to banks. So now we ha now we're using that same law for for uh, smaller business borrowers. And it you know it, it doesn't it's not uh, a perfect fit. And and I, I would also just say for for many borrowers, um, they're in a situation where uh, where their business is still relatively shut down. And they won't be able to service a loan, and so they may need more fiscal support. Um, having said that, we're we're continuing to work to, to to improve Main Street to make it more broadly available, make it make it make it make it uh, uh, available to pretty much to any company that needs it and that can service a loan. 